evening to all. I am Ansu Maria from class 7A. Respected principal, teachers and all my dear friends. Today I am going to present my topic integrated project How can plants teach you mathematics? Mathematics is a language of nature. If you read nature in a mathematical language, then you will realize the magic world of real mathematics. My crew member Shreya already explained some setting things. Today, I am going to present some additional ideas regarding to our project. They are mainly angles of plants, geometry, shape, polygon and symmetry. First, we will start with angles. If we take a leaf of tapioca, we can see there are 5 petals. Each petal has some difference. If you have an angle of 1st and 2nd consecutive leaf, it will be 45. If you take another example, the pigeon dal, there are three petals. Each petal also has some difference. If you are looking at the angle, we will got 50 degree. There are so many other angles in plants. For example, if we take bamboo plant, the angle between the upper part of the stem and the base of a leaf is called basal angle. Secondly, the angle between the stem and the tip of leaf blade is called opening angle. The same thing I am showing this diagram. The angle between stem and leaf, basal angle, and the angle between stem and tip of leaf blade is opening angle. Angles in leaf may play a role in how sunlight is intercepted sharp angles. It may reduce the amount of sunlight that the leaf intercepts during the sun. In effect, a sharp angle leaf can shape itself. So next we can discuss about geometry. The looking around you might think branches, leaves and flowers are growing randomly but each and every branches, leaves, stem, bud or petal have fixed laws and precise measure. All patterns are geometry in one way or the other way. So these are two examples for geometry. They are dahlia and sunflower. This all has a spiral pattern because of that this is a geometry pattern. So next we can discuss our next topic that is shapes. There are so many shapes in this world, but here I am just discussing about banana tree. With the simple plan, we can see so many mathematical shapes. For example, I think you all are seen banana tree's leaf. It is going in oval shape, but that shape is not oval. That shape is known as elliptical shape or ellipse. So this is the picture of banana tree's leaf. So if we cut and take the stem of banana tree, it is in cylinder shape. If we cut it in horizontal manner, we will get a circle. We can also cut it in cube, which we can use for kitchen purposes like to make delicious and nutritious food. With the leaf of banana tree, we can make so many things like straw, uh, straw, plate, box, cube, etc. I think you all are seeing banana tree's fruit. It's going in a curved shape. That shape is not curved. That shape is known as parabola shape. So next we can go to polygons. Polygon is a closed plane figure made by three or more sides that are line segment. So these are some examples for polygon. These all have line segment and sides. And these are some examples for which are not a polygon. In naturally, these are some examples for polygon. They are buying with flower and calopia. So now we can go to our last portion that is symmetry. In math, symmetry has more precise definition. The object which is in symmetry, we can divide it into two or more identical pieces. They can be arranged in an organized fashion. So these are some examples for, for uh, vertical symmetry. So if we take a leaf of uh, hibiscus and if we divide it into two, uh, two pieces, We'll, we can see uh, it will be in an equilibrium, but we can, can't divide it in a horizontal manner, but we can never get it in an equilibrium. But look in this picture, this we can divide it in a vertical symmetry and horizontal symmetry. Here I am saying some examples for vertical symmetry, they are spinach, jasmine, chili, hibiscus, etc. We already discussed this all things in our project. I am concluding my words by saying, plants gives us a lot of information. Through plants we studied, Fibonacci angle, golden ratio, spiral pattern and many many things. We are really
said the project. We believe that there is still much to learn from plants. One thing is sure, the book of nature is written in the mathematics. Thank you.